Evangelicals, we need to talk. I can honestly say that I do not hate anyone regardless of their political affiliation. Today, I want to share with you an actual book, President Donald Trump, Son of Man, The Christ. This is one of the reviews, Trump is Greater Than God. Pause your screen to read this description. It said that God is a book, whereas Donald is a true stoic hero. Now, I've heard that this book is being handed out at some Trump rallies. Many people will take issue with what I'm about to say, but I honestly feel like Donald Trump has been woven into American evangelicalism. I feel like this thing has taken on a life of its own, and it's become its own separate religion at this point. And I'm going to explain. Now, aside from the nonsensical premise of this book, that Donald Trump is actually the Son of God, which is what the Bible calls blasphemy. This week I've seen videos of people actually being baptized in the name of Donald Trump. I've seen videos of a man in India who makes literal statues and worships Donald Trump, literally worshiping him, not satire, literal. I have heard Trump prophets who completely have built their entire ministry not on Jesus Christ, but upon prophecies based upon Donald Trump. Prophets like Robin Bullock, Cat Kerr, Johnny Enlow, and one of the biggest ones of all, Shane Vaughn, who literally called Trump a messiah. One thing that I have seen amongst evangelicals is this trend to demonize their political enemies. It's become a religion where they don't love people that vote differently than them. They don't try to be a light. It's all judgment and com condemnation for the other side where there is no love, no, no effort at peacemaking, just literal condemnation. Politics have become so immersed with religion that saying God loves immigrants is often interpreted as partisan rhetoric rather than biblical truth. Evangelicalism has embraced the prosperity gospel. Many of them look down on the poor, the same people that Jesus said to help. And in many ways, evangelicalism has become a cult, where unless you belong to certain denominations and belong to certain political parties, you just aren't accepted. You are demonized and condemned by the people that are supposed to love you. Christian nationalism is a big problem in this country. People trying to take over government to try to enforce God's will. But Jesus never needed the government to enforce his will. He just needed service through love, which is what Christians should be doing. 